dodge. I <laughs> thought you might be able to help us out, like. Yeah, yeah. We need to get some new hunters on. It's definitely up. Hello, Joe. Okay. Looks reasonably busy to me. Yeah, good point, Barry. Looks reasonably busy to me. Yeah. The only people we're getting here now are criminals. I don't get it. How do you know which ones are the criminals? Well, okay. that bloke over there, right? He's reading the notes of rights, which is against this trade paper. Mm -hmm. And that geezer there is planning to break into the jukebox. And they have all got nicknames. Allow me to introduce you to your new associates. Johnny the Gangster, Ominous Dave, Punchy and Judy, Vicious Sid, Inconspicuous Ian, and can't show his face for legal reasons, Terry. And you can call me the governor, or the boss, or the man, or the big man, the main man, the good fella, the top bloke, the diamond geezer. Have I made myself clear? Blimey. First day of work, trying to remember all these names. And another thing which suggests to me they might be gangsters. What's that then? They've all got shooters. Which, frankly, I suspect might be putting our other customers off. But as it goes, I think they're getting a new sign made up. No duckers or divers, no getaway drivers, no people who enjoy having fights, and no people who have guns or lasers. But well, that could work with. I mean, that virtually rules out everyone in the East End. I mean, we're all lovable roads. Rose for the lady, lovely red roses for the lady. Guns for the lady, lovely Chanel guns for the lady. Honestly, Barry, I don't see what the problem is. Guns for the lady. They're gangsters, they're frightening. Anyway, look. You've got to look at it this way. Trade is trade. I mean, their money's as good as anybody else's. Hey, mate, you got to trade for a £30 note? Hmm. Would you got anything smaller? I've got an uh, £11 coin. Yeah. Only there was some sort of crime fighting agency that could deal with a problem like this. Some sort of policing force. And if only there was some sort of important event that would prompt them into action. Like, for example, I don't know, say it was the 500th anniversary of the East End when the Queen was coming to visit. Right, it's the 500th anniversary of the East End and the Queen is coming to visit. Yes, sir. I want you to bring in the usual suspects. Sir? The film, I lent it to you, never gave me back. Oh, and round up all the local gangsters, keep them out of harm's way until the Queen's been. Yes, sir. Do you know where to find them? Oh, yes, sir. They'll be in Barry and Gary's pub, the King's Head. Right, I want them nicked. Dodgy, this is a disaster. Barry, you have just had all the undesirables removed from the pub. Yes, and there's no one left. Well, what shall we do? Gary, when the pub's empty, we don't make any money. I know, but it's so spacious. spacious. Barry, Barry, I really wouldn't worry about it. I think business is likely to pick up when the Queen comes to visit. The Queen coming to visit? Yeah. No, it's true. I heard a couple of them coppers saying, turns out. It really is the 500th anniversary of the East End, and the Queen really is coming to visit. I remember the last time you said the Queen was coming to visit. Hi, everyone. Oh, lovely carpet. He wasn't even a Queen. He just had a slightly high pitched voice. And worked as a carpet salesman. Yeah, but this is the real Queen. You're Elizabeth the Queen, is it? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. See, Gary knows about it. We've written on that. Get her in here. I've got business. The Queen coming here. I don't think that's very really likely, do you? What do you mean? Well, this pub, right, is called the King's Head, right? Now, the Queen's only going to come into one of her husband's pubs, is she? She'll go into one of her own, like... The Queen's Head. So I will change the name. <laughs> she? I hardly think... Not the Queen's name, the pubs. Well, I still don't think she'd come in here. She might. The Queen Mum used to visit all the time during the war. Every time the pub got bombed out, which was what, once a week? How do you know about that, Ingo? Oh, the old man told me about it. How come Dad never told me then? No, not Dad. The old man at the end of the bar. That's right. I remember it like it was yesterday. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Shut up, forgetful old man. So what's happening for this anniversary then, Dodge? Well, no one knows, you see. Council couldn't come up with anything appropriate, so what they've done is they've funded suggestions for the general public. So... Is what we should do. Go down the 
cancel off his head and give him a few suggestions. Next, firework Fred. Biggest firework display you've ever seen. Explosions so big, they're probably dangerous. Approved. Next, Mad Dog Mick, dog handler. Biggest dog fight you've ever seen. Dogs so big, they're definitely dangerous. Approved. Next. Elephant lover, Jeff. Elephant lover. We're building an enormous white elephant, 800 foot high, for no real reason. Approved. Next. Dave the chef. Chef. We bag a really big quiche, like a cotton quiche. And everyone comes and eats a little bit of it. Hmm. Quiche? Mm. Yeah, not sure. Oh, I need a flag. Approved. Next. Lardy Dar Dennis, Cockney Opera Company. 24 hour underwater opera based on a light that Thomas Aquinas sang in Latin by a robot, Shirley Bassey. Next. MC Wide Boy, DJ. Live session, remix of East End Flags, kicking tunes like this. <laughs> Approved. Next. Dodgy Phil and Associates. Hello, Dodgy. Dodgy. Ladies. What can we do for you, Mr. Phil? Queen visits the park. Uh, uh, Queen's in. Quick drink. Bit of music. Sing along. Knees up. Sounds good. Nice one. Job done. Approved. Well, that was easy. So now what, Roger? Simple. Get on the dog and bone phone, talk to the bank, arrange a dog and bone loan, maybe bell a few sleds, dog and bone shower stone, dog and bone Sylvester to loan, dog and bone coffee and name. After we quit though, otherwise the wife will have a right old dog and bone loan. If I don't get back and walk the dog and bone, dog be inside a witch's bone. I didn't know you was married. Yeah, dog and bone. What, Joe? That's two. You're not married, are you, Roger? Yeah. So why did because you? Because it rhymes, Barry. There's a cockney, I have an innate love of rhyme. Or is that a crime? My name ever right? No, I suppose not. Well, then that's fine. Stop wasting time. Does it? Won't having the Queen here be like a major security risk? Yeah, the police ain't worried about it. I don't see why we should be worried about it. Sergeant, I'm worried about it. Very, very, very worried about it. The Queen visiting the East End could get nasty. I want every officer in London here. Yes, sir. Actually, it might not be enough. Give me the SAS as well, sir. Well, we still might be a bit exposed. I want a small army out there. Give me the Bolivian army. We're over here at the moment doing some public relations. Yes, sir. Give me anyone you can think of. MI5, MI6. Get them strongmen out of circuses. They're strong, aren't they? Look, I'm brainstorming. Go with me. I call it to you. The police are completely incompetent. I never said that. Yes, you did. I did not. I have complete faith in our police services. I want as much back of as you can find me. Yes, sir. I want it as soon as possible. Yes, sir. And you've got 48 hours. Yes, sir. The Eddie Murphy film, I lent it you, never gave it back. Yes, sir. Oh, I don't know, Dodgy. I mean, what if something goes wrong? Oh, sounds a little bit too risky to me. Barry, 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 Barry. Would I ever, 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 ever suggest, 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 suggest anything that was even the teeniest, weeniest bit risky? 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 Yes, you would. Give me a for instance. Well, what about that sign you told us to open a roller coaster in here, right? And it did over and demolish the pub. Okay! Hey, oh, that was wicked! Again, again, again! Barry! 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 You know that was a one-off, never to be repeated, utterly unique and freakish incident. Go, go, go! Hmm. Well, I don't know if I trust you, Dodger. Why not? Everything I do is always 100% kosher, legit, and straight up. Well, why do they call you Dodgy, Phil? Yeah. Do you know what? I've often wondered that myself. Why do they call me Dodgy? I'm not Dodgy. I've been Dodgy about me. In fact, I don't even know why they call me Phil. I never told anyone my real name. Just like that, mate. Dodgy. Does that mean you are Dodgy or you're not Dodgy, Dodgy? Yes. Now, stop wasting time, you two. You've got to get this pub redecorated. Make it look a bit more regal. Renovation bridge. Dodgy Phil. Yes, mate. No, mate. Bingo. Be straight round. Sure about the light, Dodgy. No, I'm traffic. What we see? This is Norman Peak. Help, 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 help. Mouthful smell. I need a beer.
Anyway, let's crack on. Sorry, there was a big job. It took longer than I thought. I assume you wanted some red light as well. Mmm, look at carp here. Mmm. Hey. I asked the quality too, it's not time. And I brought up last time you wanted it. That is so tacky. Sure, yeah, Some people do anything for attention. Right. Damage, Rich. All in all, you're looking at uh, four monkeys and a Nelson. Well, well, three lines, a big squid, 20 swordfish, half a rhino, meerkat, double pelican, call it a pony, Shetland, Auckland, done. Nice one, mate. Oh, I haven't got any cash on me at the moment, put it on a slate, all right. Whatever. Go on, fellas, let's get out of here. Sorted. Uh, no, no, I'm not a bit close. This sing-along we're meant to be adding to the Queen, right? Yeah. Just what exactly are we meant to be singing along to? The jukebox. What have you got to put on it? At the moment, we can offer you a selection of one different CD, which is Seal of Blacks from Black Music. No, 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 no. Look, I'll book a band. And not just any band, the best band in the land. Hello, I've got to speak to Chaz and all day, please. Dodgy, Phil. Dodgy, it's Chaz. Good to hear from you, fella. Hello, mate. All right, listen. We're organising a knees up for a match deal, Sadie. Was wondering if you two'd like to do the honours. Love to. Perfect timing. We're just winding up our US tour at the minute. Uh, we've got Madison Square Garden tonight. A couple of nights in Vegas, but I'm sure we'll make it back in time. Nice one, mate. All right, then. See you Saturday. Here, Jermaine Greer's are on me. That's all really good, actually. Rocking. See you then, mate. Sorted. See you soon, ladies. Well, Dodge. Off to do some more dodgy deals, are you, Dodge? No, Barry. Barry, no. Barry, no. No, 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 no. Oh, me thinks dodgy duck hurts us too much. No, because the test too much. It's not because that's not doing. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, that's not. I believe you. There you go. I'm going now. I've got some other matters to attend to. Of a totally above board nature. Oh, yeah, but it's the Millennium Bridge, though, isn't it, mate? They only build one of these every million years. Gee, it's a heck of a lot of money. Yeah, but look what you got. You can walk across it, then you can walk back across it, stand in the middle. Darn it, buddy, you got yourself a deal. Very, very, you ready for the big day? Oh, no. Come on. Right, quick recap, Netiquette. Queen speaks to you, you say. Mum, stone me. It's an honour. Blimey, it is. And no mistake. You're an inspiration. I love me, Mum. I love the Queen. You're a marvel and a treasure. La di da, la di da, la di da. Stone me, cool blimey, love a dog. Right. Okay. Very good. Anyway, we ain't got to say all that. Copy code, Barry. The copy code. Always be free and easy. Do as you're darn well pleasing. Except when confronted by social betters, when you always talk in a stupid way so as to emphasise your total inferiority. All right? Right. Now you've ordered the food and jump. Oh, yeah. I had this specially commissioned. Now, this is called a monarch's lunch. The bloke in the shop said it's like a ploughman's lunch, only it's much, 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 much better. Right, and you've ordered the drink and chill? Yeah. Right. Well, just wait, ladies. Before long, the Queen is going to walk through those very doors. Hiya. Excuse me, thank you. 
Keep the area is secure. Keep the area is secure. I want to let Sergeant the Queen, Her Majesty, is on her way. Over. Oh, sir, I have a code red. 10 o'clock, that's like a door window, yes. Affirmative, I repeat, code red, we have code red. Over the code red, repeat, code red, sir. Just shot my window cleaner. Are you sorry about it? I suspect it's a sniper. A sniper? With a squeegee? It looked like a rifle glinting in the sun. But it's cloudy. Go away. Your hmm. Majesty, welcome to the Easter. Chaz and Dave Beard by now. Nah. Yeah, don't you think? Nah. She's getting worried. Nah. Isn't it? Nah. Sure. Nah. 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 Fair enough. But we'll start with a look at the work of Damien Whiteley. A local artist who makes sculptures out of jelly beans. Then there's a demonstration of the latest chimney sweeping techniques. A performance by a local school choir. And then the Royal Walkabout. We called it the Royal Lambert Walkabout. <laughs> then there's a firework display, which is so big it's probably dangerous. And then finally, a traditional East End knees up in a traditional East End pub. Dodgy, where are Chaz and Dames? They'll be here, they'll be here, I won't. Gary, 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 when am I ever wrong? I'm Barry. Right, the point is Gary, Barry. When am I ever wrong? Barry. Mm. No, Gary, you're Gary. Gary. Relax. Sure, there's a perfectly good reason as to why they're not here. Yep. Right. 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 Well, I can't make it. Dave's been injured in the drive by shooting. <laughs> And now the choir of St. Fagans will perform a specially written piece which synthesizes the East End oral tradition with the sound of the descant recorder to create an evocative soundscape for these postmodern times. Take it away, children. Chairs. I mean, can't he do it on his own? He said he'd love to, but he can't. Why not? We don't want it. Oh, fair enough. Chas and Dave, why don't we hire a Chas and Dave tribute band? There's loads of them. I don't know. What do you think, Optimistic Bob? Shut up, Optimistic Bob. I'll pop around the tribute tops. Tribute tops. Dodgy, what can I do you for? I need a band mate, ASAP. Who are you after? I've got Michael Jackson. Hello. Preach. Hello. John Lennon. Hello. And Lionel Richard. Hello. Who are you looking for? Is it me you're looking for? No, I need a Chess and Dave, and I need them now. Leave it. Leave it. It's not worth it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. It's not worth it. Leave it. Leave it. Chess and Dave. Sorry, mate. Normally I've got loads, but they're all out at the moment. Very popular line, that. Well, is there anyone else who'd have one? Well, there is this one guy. He was a massive fan of my tribute band agency. He got so into it, he started copying my bands and doing his own tribute tribute bands. What's his name? Oh, um, oh, um, don't know. Love you, Kevin. Shout it, Kevin. Love you, Kevin. 
It's got the same name as you. Yeah, practically. I knew there was a reason I should remember it. Funny bloke. Looks exactly like me. Does my voice quite well at all. Suppose I'll draw you a map. if Dodgy can't sort it out. Can I say we stand and fight? Fight who, Gary? I don't know. The Queen. All right, then. Each other. Will you relax? The fake Jazz and Dave will be here any minute. Good day. You're the Jazz and Dave tribute man. Who was he speaking in that funny voice? Hey, I'll write now that worthy your Aussie Jazz and Dave. Oh, I don't believe this. Who's he? I'm the one who isn't Chaz or Dave, whose name no one knows and he never speaks. Oh, this is ridiculous. Is he all right? Calm down, calm down. But people speaking and singing voices are often completely different. We should uh, just see the boys in action, eh? Hey, okay, no worries, mate. A one, two, three, four. Well, I built my life around you, did what I called was right. But you never cared about me now. I've seen a life, I'm done. There ain't no pleas with you, you suck up big steps of it. You seem to think that everything I did was wrong. I should have done it all along. I'm done. There ain't no pleasing you. Now what? Well, maybe we could lose the didgeridoo. Oh, mm -hmm. dodgy. You could not have found a worse review band. Sorry, guys. The market for a Mexican Simon and Garfunkel just isn't there anymore. People are much more into the New World stuff. Just before we go to the pub, it's time for a firework display. Uh, we've arranged for you to initiate the proceedings, so if you just like to push here. Yeah. What's that? Oh no, it's the fireworks. We've run out of time. We are going to look like complete idiots in front of the Queen. No, we're not. All we do is get these geezers to play instrumentals. Oh, don't you? You're a genius. We're saved. What's an instrumental? Yeah, all right. Look, the Queen will be here in a second, right? It's time for the meet and greet. Come on, let's go. And now, Mark, we're still 
You are about to meet the Queen of Old London Town. Yeah, there are many important people in the world. Yeah, Nelson Mandela, Bill Gates, Madonna, and me. If you're a copy, who's more important than the Queen? Nothing. She's like a poke to us. I'm not over you are about to meet her. She's going to walk into that pub, your pub, she's going to have a pint with you. To get around him. True enough. She can't have a visit. Still, ladies, this will be a day you won't forget in and hurry. The flames! It's pretty like wildfire! <laughs> Set fire to the Queen! Oh, look at me, I'm the Queen. Oh, look at me, I'm on fire. You should do anything for ascension. Sorry, ladies. Still, at least you got to see the Queen. Fair enough. Remember to send a lookalike to the East End for me, as I asked. Yes, of course, Mother. Good. I do hate cockneys. Come on. Fourth one. This is seven inch. Call it ten cats. Done.